Lee, the university, um, and in particular the EPSRC centre, uh, where you're one of the scientists, um, is working on a collaborative project uh, with a number of other partners um, on a project called Fibrofix Composite. And the project is designed uh, to repair knee cartilage. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what Huddersfield will bring uh, to this project. The university and me in particular in the group will be looking at the surface of the composite to check that it's good enough to act as a bearing surface in the body so that you can replace the cartilage because that's basically the job of cartilage. It's as a shock absorber and um, a nice smooth bearing surface so that when you're walking you get free movement of your joints. So this material that's designed to repair um, tears or repair defects in the cartilage needs to have a similar property so it still needs to have that nice smooth surface so that when you're walking along um, you don't get any interference and there's no pain there. So our role is to basically check that that surface is fit for purpose, that it is smooth enough and that it continues to be smooth enough as they develop the manufacturing process to look at turning this material into devices which can go into the body. And you're a metrologist, uh, that's your area of expertise. Yes. Uh, and that is exactly what you're going to be doing. You're going to be measuring the surface, if you like, the, how smooth the surface is of the cartilage. Yes, so metrology is basically the science of measurement and that's exactly what I'll be doing, measuring the surface, measuring the features on the surface to check that they're not too big or too small and also being able to characterise that surface in terms of numbers so rather than just a visual look at it we can then put numbers to the surface to say how high the topography is or how, how different the texture might be between two different devices. So Lee, just explain what this, this machine does then. Uh, what, what it, what it, how unique is this machine? The, this AFM that we've got here is state of the art. Um, it's really advanced technology that uses a contacting stylus method to measure the very fine detail of the surface and we can get really accurate results from that. It uses a stylus which is um, itself has got a very, very small radius on it down at the kind of micron level and that's able to get into features by tapping on the surface of the substrate that we're looking at to, get, to build up a picture then of the exact height topography that we're interested in. The data then appears on the screen here and we can have a look at different aspects of the height data so that we can assess how good a bearing surface it would be, how well it's been processed or manufactured, and all the different aspects about the surface at this scale. Um, we've got here a 20 by 20 micron area, so it's quite a small area that we're measuring. I think the average Pin size hair. of a human hair is 80 microns diameter, so it's about a quarter of a human hair. So we're looking at a very small area of the surface. But that will give us a lot of nice information about how that surface might interact in the human body and particularly how well this device will perform when it's manufactured. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.